Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a really important concept in systems programming and C++ development. Memory alignment in memory management. Let's break it down step by step. First, what exactly is memory alignment? In simple terms, memory alignment refers to arranging data in memory according to certain boundaries. These boundaries are usually powers of 2, like 2, 4, 8 or even 16 bytes. The goal is to make memory access faster and more efficient for the CPU. You might be wondering, why does alignment even matter? Well, CPUs are optimized to read and write data from memory at specific addresses. If data is not properly aligned, the CPU might have to perform extra work to read it. This can lead to slower performance and even hardware faults on some architectures. Now, let's look at a simple C++ example. Suppose we have this structure. At first glance, you might think this struct takes up 6 bytes. 1 byte for A, 4 bytes for B, and 1 byte for C. But that's not the case. Because of alignment, it usually takes 12 bytes. Let's step through it. Char A is 1 byte, so it starts at address 0. Int B needs to be aligned to a 4 byte boundary, since address 1 is not divisible by 4. The compiler inserts 3 bytes of padding after A to align B at address 4. Then B occupies 4 bytes. Address is 4 through 7. Char C comes next at address 8. Now, depending on the system, there might be 3 more bytes of padding after C to make the size of the struct a multiple of the largest alignment requirement, which is 4 bytes. You can check the size of this struct by writing this code. This usually outputs 12, so memory alignment isn't just about the variables themselves. It also affects the overall size of data structures. Now, let's talk about how we can control alignment in C++. One way is using the alignness keyword introduced in C++11. For example, this tells the compiler to align aligned example to a 16-byte boundary. This can be very useful for SIMD operations or when working with hardware that requires specific alignments. Another important thing is that improper alignment can cause undefined behavior. On some architectures like ARM, trying to access misaligned memory can cause a crash. When you allocate memory manually, you might need to ensure proper alignment yourself. Before C++17, this was tricky. Now, with C++17, you can use std aligned alloc. Here is an example. This allocates 64 bytes of memory aligned to a 16-byte boundary. Don't forget, whenever you use aligned alloc, you need to free the memory with free. Now, you might be thinking, can alignment cause fragmentation? Yes, it can, especially if you align a lot of small objects to large boundaries. Memory gets wasted between allocations. This is why memory pools and custom allocators often try to optimize around alignment issues. Let's quickly summarize. Memory alignment improves CPU performance. Misaligned memory can lead to slowdowns or crashes. Compilers automatically add padding to structures to ensure proper alignment. You can control alignment manually using alignness or aligned memory allocation functions. And remember, always check the documentation of your target platform. Different CPUs have different alignment requirements. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into C++ and systems programming. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.